Homeowners, here's a question for you. How much property tax do you pay? What about the guy across the street from you? Because of Prop 13, you may be paying a lot more or a lot less than your neighbor, even though your houses are worth about the same amount. Over the past several years, there have been whispers about changing that system. But as CBS5 political editor Hank Plant found out, because we are forever in this budget crisis, the whispers are turning into some very loud screams. Hank? Alan, Proposition 13 has been called the third rail of California politics. It was passed in the 1970s to stabilize property taxes because people were being thrown out of their homes after they couldn't afford their rising taxes. But now even this sacred cow is on the table. The owners of this house in San Francisco's Sunset District pay just over $2,000 a year in property taxes because they bought the place 30 years ago for $162,000 and their taxes could only go up a little thanks to Prop 13. But down the street, the owners of a similar house pay over $10,000 a year in taxes because they bought their place last year for about $900,000. That's the disparity of Proposition 13 and the reason that it's under attack during these tough financial times. The assaults on Prop 13 continue to ramp up as the uh, economic situation in California deteriorates. So yes, we have seen a significant uptick in assaults on Prop 13. And now the Bay Area Council, the group pushing a constitutional convention to redo California's finances, has changed its position and wants voters to relook at Proposition 13. We are leading a charge for a constitutional convention and like anybody else that wants to reform the state, we have, have learned that Prop 13 has to be on the table and so it will be on the table. This is a change in your position, isn't it? Yeah, the original feedback that we heard, um, uh, and if polling bears this out, but is that people don't want to change their property tax rates. And there was a, a little bit of an outrage out there that said everything needs to be on the table if you're going to do a constitutional convention. In addition, San Francisco assessor recorder Phil Ting is leading an effort to redo Prop 13. Ting doesn't want to change the tax protection for homeowners, but he does want to change it for commercial businesses who get the same protection. Well, I think we should reform Prop 13. What, what I'm looking at is talking about a split role, which is that commercial properties should be taxed at a higher rate than uh, residential properties. I think the subsidy that they've gotten over the last 30 years is, is too, too much. At this point, I think we should re-examine it. He points to this example. Neiman Marcus at Union Square pays about $2.4 million a year in property taxes. But Macy's Men's Store, right next door, pays less than half that at a million one. So the state is losing out on the difference. Before Prop 13, we were fifth in the country in per people spending in education. Now we're 47. I'm not proud of that fact. But Prop 13's defenders don't want any part of it tampered with. Well, you know, talk about kicking business when they're down. I mean, l look, businesses are leaving the state of California in droves. They're going to Nevada, Florida, Texas, Utah. Why would we want to punish businesses even further and give them yet another reason to leave California? It makes no sense to classify property differently according to its use. But with the state hemorrhaging millions of dollars each year, even this most popular tax relief is now on the table. Now, Prop 13 also required that many local taxes could only be passed by two-thirds votes. Alan, that is one more part of this popular program that is now under scrutiny. Like you said, it's all on the table. All right, Hank, thanks.